Many people in Malden say flooding and drainage issues have become a big problem. So our Chloe Salsameda tells us about the steps the city is taking to deal with this. When there's a big storm, this creek overflows, flooding nearby driveways and the street. The city of Malden is now working on a master plan to get its stormwater under control. This creek flows right in front of Antonio Moreno's home. When it rains, Moreno says the creek overflows. It doesn't take long to, to rise that high, so it's pretty dangerous. Especially the way the water flows is, is very, very fast. It rained so hard this month that the creek washed out Moreno's driveway. My insurance denied the claim and, and the city doesn't want to help either, so I gotta, I gotta pay for that myself. City leaders want to hear about flooding issues like these. Next month, the city will host two public input meetings where residents can explain the flooding and stormwater issues they're facing. These series of meetings are designed to hear from the public to understand some of the things that they're seeing when we have torrential downpours. The city will use residents' comments to create a stormwater master plan, which will identify areas prone to flooding. This report will ultimately allow us to apply for federal grants that will help with some of the mitigation activities. City Administrator Seth Duncan says Malden's flooding issues stem from the city's location and how neighborhoods have been built. Because we're sitting between two uh, river basins, it's just a lot of water moves through our area. And we've had subdivisions that were built in the 70s, 80s, and even early 90s that did not have stormwater infrastructure. It wasn't a requirement until the early 2000s. Duncan says the city has taken steps to ensure that all newly built neighborhoods don't experience these issues. Our new subdivisions aren't facing these problems because they're built for a 100-year storm capacity, which is four times larger than the county's requirement. The meetings will be held on February 5th and 19th at City Hall. In Malden, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.